hi everyone okay let's provide a solution here 2y over the square root of y equals 4 now the first method here I mean the first step here is to cross multiply because this is over 1 so these can multiply this to give us 4 root y and that will be equal to 2y times y which is 2y now the next point is as a matter of fact we can decide to reduce the the equation as we divide by by 2 okay so let's divide by 2 then divide this by 2 this will go then 2 into 4 is 2 so we have 2 root y now which is equal to y then the next point is to remove you no know, the 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 next step is for us to remove this square root so we have 2 square root of y to remove that we need to square this and if you're squaring do not square only the root y because it's it is attached to the two here so you have to put everything in bracket and then you square it and then what you do on one side should be done on the other side so y will be squared as well now 2 squared is 4 then this can now go with this one so we have y and it's equal to y squared now it is advisable that you write the one with the highest or the higher power first so i'll write y squared equals 4y and then what again can i do y squared minus 4y is equal to 0 what i've done is to bring everything on the same side to to you know bring everything to the same side now we have y over there here we have y and then here we have 4 because y is already out and this is equal to 0 now our y is equal to 0 or y minus 4 is equal to 0 apply 0 different um, rule um, yes apply um, 0 product rule right zero product rule it is so now y is zero or y is equal to zero plus four y still remains zero or y is equal to four but there's another method you can use by the way this gave us two methods right i mean two solutions but then the two solutions both of them will not be satisfying only one will satisfy let's apply let's use the second method and see the solution that we'll, we are going to have okay so let me use the other side of the paper okay so we are still looking at 2y over square root of y equals 4 now what if i say what if i say 2 comes out then i have y over this square root of y is the same as y to the power of 1 over 2 and this is equal to 4 now having done this i can even divide both sides by 2 already this will go and then we have y over y to the power of 1 over 2 to be equal to 2 so at this point I will now apply a law of indices, one of the laws of indices, because y there is the same as y to the power of 1. If we pick one of the bases, y, then we have 1 minus 1 over 2. So this is equal to 2 on the other side. If we go ahead now, we have y, 1 minus 1 over 2 is 1 over 2 is half, and it's equal to 2, right? Okay. So if we also go ahead, you will see that our target is to remove this power here. And that is 1 over 2, right? To remove that, we need to multiply the power by its reciprocal. The reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2. 
and then on the other side we have two now this can go with this so that y is alone and it's equal to by the way we are square we've squared the left hand side so we have to square the right hand side so this will go with this one then two squared is on the other side and it's equal to four so the second method gave us this solution y equals four and then if you look at the first method we got y to be equal to zero or y equals four but then which of the methods would you prefer to use remember the um, the given equation is y over square root of y equals two and if we put y to be zero zero over square root of zero can never give two okay by the way the equation is 2y so if you divide anything by zero you're never going to have two so the first solution y equals zero has to be rejected right now if you put in the second solution which is um, y equals four you will have two times y which is two times four now over square root of four what would this give us eight over square root of four which is two and then 8 over 2 is 4. So therefore, y to be equal to 4 satisfies the equation.